Welcome back, Commodore fans. Today I'm going to be compiling a Simons Basic program with the Abacus Basic 64 compiler using the tried and true quicksort algorithm featured in my previous videos. So let's reboot the 64 with the Simons Basic cartridge and get started. I was recently checking the Basic 64 manual looking for a specific option for use in another program when I came across this long forgotten option. BASIC64 can compile programs created with BASIC extension utilities, and this included Simon's BASIC. It caught my attention now because I recently saw a Facebook post discussing the possibility of making a Simon's BASIC program work as a standalone program without needing the Simon's BASIC cartridge, and I thought this might possibly be a way to do it. However, as I kept reading, I was disappointed to learn that no, it is not possible the Simons Basic cartridge would still have to be present to run the compiled program. Today, I want to try compiling a Simons Basic program just to see how it works and how fast it could be. Let's start by loading the sort program and take a quick look. This program is nearly identical to the previous versions. The Simons Basic commands are shown in red text. First, we set up the high resolution screen read the data, and draw the lines. The next section is the sort routine itself. And when the sort ends, we calculate the time and display the result. And I am using the same randomized data set as before. OK, let's run it and see it in action. And just for fun, I'll load the Commodore 128 basic version and run them side by side. Everybody ready? In three, two, one, go. Both programs are running in real time. They look to be pretty evenly matched as we start out. All right, as they progress here, I can tell that the Simon's Basic program is running slightly faster. We have a winner. Simon's Basic took about 74 seconds. Let's let the 128 go ahead and finish. Okay, about 86 seconds for the 128. That's 12 seconds slower than Simon's Basic. I have to say I'm a little disappointed that the 128, using the kernel's baked-in graphical commands, is slower than a basic add-on utility for the 64. Next, let's compile the Simons Basic program. The Basic 64 compiler will not work with Simons Basic, so we'll have to reboot into normal 64 mode to load and run the compiler. Now that the compiler is ready, we go into the Advanced Development Options and then Extensions. Our choices are Super Graphic 64, never heard of it. Simon's Basic, XBasic Level 2, never heard of that one either, Basic 4.0, also never heard of it, and Super Graphic 64. I guess that's an early version of Super Graphic 64 Plus. We'll select Simon's Basic as our extension. And for the code generator, I'll select the 6502 6510 machine language option is that produced the fastest code in the previous videos. Press Enter to go back to the main menu. 
select Compiler Optimizer 2, type in the program name, and off we go. The E letter shown during pass 1 of the compile process is not an error. It indicates that an extended basic keyword was encountered. So we continue on. OK, it's finished compiling with no errors. And it even shows us the total number of extended keywords processed. And now we're done with the compiler. So I'll reset the computer and do a directory listing. The compiled program is named m-sort.sb, and since we're still in default 64 mode, let's go ahead and try and run it, even though we know it most likely won't work. And, as expected, it fails. So let's switch back into Simon's Basic to run it. And success. Let's also load the compiled 128 version and run it. And just to make things interesting, I'll add the compiled Vision Basic version. OK, all three programs are ready to start, so place your bets. In 3, 2, 1, go. All three programs are running in real time here. And the first to finish is Vision Basic at about 6.2 seconds. The second place winner is the 128 at about 42 seconds. That was unexpected given the result of the interpreted BASIC program. And finally, in last place, we have Simon's BASIC at around 46 seconds. Alright, so what have we learned today? First, the good news. Having an extended BASIC utility adds really useful functionality to BASIC 2.0. And it is possible to compile programs written with basic extensions for faster execution. And now for the bad news. Programs written with basic extension utilities must, that's must, have that utility present and active on your system in order to run the program. Which leads us to the last point. You can't share or sell that program to anyone that doesn't have that utility. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and as always, be careful out there.